Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a dependent drop-down list. So in the top left-hand corner, I have a list of vegetables, which I've called vegetable, a list of fruit, which I've called fruit, and then the two categories, vegetable and fruit, are called type. Then I've got data validity in this cell C2 which will show me either one of those two vegetable or type so if I go into the validity option you can see it just says source type I'll click OK to that and then in this one if that says fruit I want this to show me the list of fruit dropping that down list of fruit if I select vegetables that will show me the list of vegetables. So what I want to do is recreate this down the bottom here. So I'm getting myself into this cell that I'll come across one and I want to color that in. So I'll color that in a particular color and the next cell can be the same color as well. And then I want to create two lists here. So this list I'll call course. And this list I'll call location. So course and location. And then I need a list of courses. So let's go for Excel Calc Sheets. And this list I'll go for leads. Derby and Newcastle. Now I need to use named ranges for this. So first list that I need to name is these two. And up there I'm going to name them category. Now you have to press enter when you name them. And then this is going to be called course. So I'll go up there in the name box and call them course. And then this one can be called location. Location. Pressing enter on that one. Now in this cell, which I'll color a different color, color it green or something, I need a validity list that's going to show me these two. And in this list, wants to show me whichever one I've selected. So let me just color that slightly different. Again, I'll go for a blue color. So remember these two are called category. So in there, I'm going to data validity over there. And then it needs to be cell range. And in there, I need to type equals category and then click OK to that to see if that works that should show me those two course I'll select one now in the blue cell I want to use the indirect function the indirect function is going to look at this cell G8 if it says course I want it to show this list of courses if it says location I want it to show me those three locations so in there we're going back across to validity i'm selecting the same option cell range and i'm typing equals indirect open the bracket and then you need to type in the cell reference so the cell reference is that g8 g8 close the bracket Click OK, see if it works. So it's showing me the courses. If I change that, select location, this should now show me the locations, which it does. So basically, that's how you can create a lookup that is dependent on a previous lookup. And in this example, I'm using named ranges and I'm using the indirect function at the end. So hopefully this video 
is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.